Hello everyone, welcome to my unboxing, well, quick unboxing of the Dell XPS L702X, I think it is, yep. It's just arrived, um, it's a 17 inch laptop, and um, let's crack it open. This is a refurbished laptop, this cost me, I believe it was about £480 give or take, round about that, I can't remember the exact number but it was about that <clears throat> never really done an unboxing before to be honest so quite curious to see what happens so you open the box and there isn't a box inside but it looks pretty well packaged is this, is, has this held down or something? looks like it is um, how does this come out? Ah, hang on a second. What's that? Box with documentation in by the looks of it. If I can get it open. It's a bit hard with one hand, but... Ah, sticker. Right, what we got in here? Manuals. Just manuals? Yep, looks like it's setup guide. Um, safety, environmental, and regu regulatory information. License agreement, and that's it. There's the power adapter, power brick, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It's fairly large, actually. Don't really know what I can compare it to, but never mind. It's you can see how large it is there about. Yep. Um, basic plug, three prong plug. It's not an average, what you'd call a kettle plug. How does this come out? This is packed quite, it looks like it's not packed with anything, but it's actually in there pretty well. What's that say? Do not cut film. Oh, I see how it's packed. This plastic film's sort of attached it to the box. So, um, give us a second, I'll just cut this off. Right, I've got the film off. So, this should just come straight out now. Yep, it certainly does. Let's move this box out of the way. Just put it on the floor there. Right, let's have a look. Now I'm guessing that the laptop has the battery in already. Yes, it does. You can see it there. It has a protective film thing over the Dell logo. Let's have a look inside. Right, that looks pretty good. It's refurbished, but it looks brand new to me. This camera is not the best, like, but I'll go in as close as I can without it getting too blurry. Looks nice. It has a protective film over the keys. Well, not over the keys, but between the keys. You can sort of see it there, where it's bubbled. I don't know if I can get that off. Let's see if I can. Will it come off? Nearly got it. There we go. Very nice. Get rid of that. It seems like I don't know. It seems like a lot of effort was put into making that. Oh well, it's a bit strange. <laughs> Speakers by you can't really see that, but that says JBL. Never really heard of JBL. I don't know if they're popular or not. Uh, take the film off that as well. This looks very nice, this lake, I have to say. Apologies if you can't understand my accent very well as well. It's a, quite, a, quite a hard accent to understand, I know. Right, power button there. Does it come on? Yes, it does. See how quickly this boots into Windows. 
extremely large touchpad. I like that's what I like to see on laptops, a nice big touchpad. Even though I don't really use a touchpad myself, I prefer obviously to use a mouse like a lot of people. But a big touchpad is a bonus. I think it's about to boot into Windows now. Alright, it's going through the setup, the first boot setup. So I'll go through what's on this laptop on the sides. We've got your DVD drive there. That is a multi multi recorder DVD drive. You can't really see, hold on. There we go. You've got your headphone, microphone, and your SP diff. I'm guessing that's for like digital and stuff. And you've got your eSATA there. Which I believe doubles as a USB 2 port. So I can turn this over a bit. On the back. Now on the back, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Get some better light here. It's not very good. Um. Hmm. Oh well. You can just about see there. You've got. I don't know what that is. Not sure. You've got a mini display port, I think that is, yeah, mini display port, HDMI port, and your Ethernet port, Kensington lock port, power adapter port, and two USB 3.0 ports. This is the first laptop I've had with the USB 3 ports, so it'll be interesting to find something <laughs> that actually makes use of them. Um, let's turn it over. And on this side you've got one more USB 2.0 port. Nice big, I um, don't know what you call it, hole on the side. <laughs> hole on the side for the hot air to be extracted. And then you've got your card reader slot. And I think that's about it. Right, let's have a look now. Windows 7 Home Premium. Right, I can't see the mouse, there it is. Zoom in a bit. English, United Kingdom, yep, United Kingdom, that's all right. All right, Windows 7 Home Premium, all right, I'll set all that up in a minute. But there you go, there's a quick unboxing of the Dell XPS L702X 17-inch laptop. Oh, before I go, I forgot to mention what's actually in the laptop. It's got, well, this particular, this particular model has a Core i5, a second generation Core i5, it's a 2410, I believe, and it's, I'm not sure at the speed, I think it's 2.2 gigahertz, but it has turbo boost up to 2.9, um, so that's pretty good. Um, it has a GeForce GT 550M graphics card, that's a 1 gig graphics card. Um, it has 4 gig of DDR3, 1333 megahertz memory. And it has a 500 gig hard drive, and I believe that's a 1600 by 900 resolution 17 inch display. It's non 3D, it's just the basic version. Um, and I think that's about it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, I may update this video sometime with uh, some benchmarks, some gaming benchmarks, things like that. But, yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.